travelling to my sites, working my bees. G'day, my name's Alan Teske. My main aim in beekeeping is to experiment and to obtain as much honey from the hives as possible. I recommend for any beak to have two hives, whether it is uh, honey production hives or a couple of nucleus hives. A queen can be killed in an instant if a frame is not removed correctly. Egg sighted tells the beak that there was a queen in the hive in the previous three days. Any queen has a limited amount of fertile sperm. Many beaks find that when they see no queen or eggs, they want to replace a new queen in the hive. This disaster can be averted if the beak has more than one hive. When a queen is lost or killed, from egg to new laying soft red queen is about 30 days, depending on whether mature drones are available for mating. If a new purchased queen is placed, that queen will be killed, as the bees always prefer to rear their own queen. By having two or more hives, a frame of eggs and brood can be placed in the queenless hive without the queen. Mark that frame, inspect the frame five to seven days for queen cells. If queen cells are found, it tells you that the hive is queenless. Destroy the queen cells and a new queen will be accepted. If no queen cells are found, it tells you that the hive is queen right and there is a self red queen that may be nearly ready to lay or you may find eggs. I have been using this method for over 40 years after experimenting. Moving hives around so that we get different drones in different nukes that are uh, queenless. I'm starting off from this site removing two nukes that are queenless. The queens have been used and transferring them to another site so that I get new drone stock in my queen sperm. These nukes I am uh, moving in the daylight and open entranced as they're only, only going about three or four miles away. The two nukes that were loaded onto the vehicle are transferred to another B site over three miles distance. While I'm unloading or loading the vehicle with the nukes, I have the motor running to create a vibration and that helps to keep the bees in the hives. N1 from the other site is being transferred back to the site where I originally loaded the two nukes. These are field bees coming back to the original position but they'll have to uh, uh, migrate around to the opposite side of the hive with this uh, new nuke that's been placed. Very very strong nukes. All the field bees from the uh, two hives, two nukes that I took away, the field bees are now uh, going to go into this one particular hive and, and help boost it up a lot more. In this situation, the field bees don't seem to fight as they're bringing back goodies to the hive. I have uh, never found them fighting. 
The queen was removed from this particular nuke about five or six days ago, so there should be some uh, good cells. I love my autumn queens. I have been rearing autumn queens since the 1980s and have had very good success with them. The top super has uh, around about two and a half frames of honey on board for their food for the winter. Many beaks remove the first frame too fast and if the queen happens to be there and is a little bit tight between the frames she can be rolled in an instant and killed. The first frame that is removed there should be no resistance felt by the, by the beekeeper. Here I am looking to see if there are any queen cells on this particular brood frame. Sometimes the beak will only find one or two cells. It all depends on the conditions at the time that, that it was made queenless. Never destroy the first cell that you see because it may be the only cell that is in the hive. This hive was queenless five days ago and uh, as you can see here there's one there's one sealed cell there and there's, there's two open cells there so the open cells are going to be the better cells than the sealed cells because uh, the open cells means that there was a, an early an egg before they started to, uh, to to draw it out as a queen cell so I'll destroy that uh, that one there and uh, leave, leave just, just the one of these. And if you look up the top here, there's, there's another, another little, 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 uh, another little cell, which is no good. So that'll be, that'll be destroyed. That will be destroyed also. The cell that is left, I mark the top of the frame so I know the position of that particular cell. Another cell here. I check all uh, frames twice to make sure that there are no cells left because sure as egg the cell that is left will hatch before the one that you want to hatch and that queen will be not very good. Another three cells found here that I'm just removing. I found quite a number of different uh, aged queen cells. The nuke is now being reassembled and I've only left the one open cell because I consider that it is would be the best cell to rear a new queen. This is the uh, a number of the cells. There's, there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 12 cells that have been started. So and I've kept uh, what I consider the best one which hasn't been sealed yet. It is a lot easier working four or five frame nukes as you've only got half the weight of a full super. It'll take until dark, until uh, all those bees go inside, but there's more than sufficient bees in there to, uh, to keep the uh, brood warm and also to continue that uh, cell rearing, which we probably uh, finished in another day or so. Nothing is thrown on the ground, so I'll pick all this up now and uh, it'll be put in the, uh, the burr comb bucket. Queens that are purchased and come in the post have up to half a dozen worker bees or escorts with, with the queen to feed her. 
This is JB's EB's uh, queen cage, and uh, sometimes it can be a hit and miss uh, getting her to be taken. Sometimes it can be a miss when you try to place her in a hive. One of the reasons for this is that the queen is not in full lay. She has been in the cage for a number of days. Mm -hmm.